Hello guys, welcome to my channel Power BI with Ross. My name is Ross and today in this video we're going to learn how to freeze multiple rows in Power BI matrix visual. As you can see in my first visual, there are day, year and three, which are three levels of rows, day, year and week. And if I scroll to the right, I can see in year 2021, uh, 2023, week one and Friday I had 8.3 uh, profit, which is very convenient for your user to have be able to um, see uh, all levels in a single level instead of something like this where you either have to go here okay 8.3 percent but what year was it uh, 2023 okay but what week was it oh okay week one which is not convenient right you want something like this you want to freeze these uh, and line up in a single uh, level instead of something like this which is a hierarchic hierarchical structure so I'm going to teach that in this tutorial, but first of all, uh, thank you for supporting my channel. Uh, I've been getting very good reviews and your support means a lot to me. If you guys don't know me, what I do is I just create a trick and trips videos in Power BI. So if you are a regular Power BI user, you might get into a situation where you are like, okay, how do I do this? So like, how do I cross join in Power BI? How do you create a date picker in Power BI, which something Power BI doesn't have? How do I set a dynamic changing targets? How do I change set a dynamic default changing date in date slides or something like this? You'll run into these problems and I'm just here to like the more you use Power BI, the more you run you will run into these problems because our users are very demanding and they want they want all kind of stuff. So I'm just trying to help you guys out. If you please love, like my videos, do subscribe to my channel um, and I'm very happy that uh, I'm happy to help okay anyway let's start this tutorial so I'm gonna compare these two visuals if you see over here rows and view values these two visuals have got exactly the same thing so you don't need to change anything here you just need to add so if you only have day just add year and week the level of hierarchy whatever you want right the first thing I'm going to do is go to the format formatting options. That's where you will go. And the only thing we are interested in here is the row headers. Go over here. First thing, in the row, under the row headers, I'm going to uh, disable plus and minus icons. Turn that off. And it's gone because we don't want that. We're lining up it in a single uh, level, right? Like in the first video. Next step which is very important is we're going to drill down to the lowest level if you guys don't know what the drill down is so you know we have a day we year and week at the moment it's showing a level one so if I drill down to the next level it's gonna show uh, the next level which is a uh, year and if I drill down to the next level it's going to show you the week which is our lowest level and if you notice that this is now disabled because there's no this is the lowest point this is the lowest level we have we you don't have anything further than that so make sure this is disabled if i go over here it's only going to sh show me uh, two two levels so make sure this is disabled if i disable that uh, if you, this is disabled that means you have drilled down to your lowest level right so after you do that make sure it's disabled go to the formatting options again roll it as again and go to the options and now turn all that off which is the step layout step it out is that you can see there's it's like a stepped layout yeah there's friday and there's some indentation and there's year and there's some indentation there's next level so you just turn that off and voila you have your frozen rows multiple levels in a single uh, level so you can now users very happy you don't they don't have to expand and uh, collapse anymore they can see okay the profit went by 8.3 percent in year week one friday that's it that's what i do i create a very short videos tricks and tips which is very helpful and i'm i, I hope it's very helpful and uh, yeah if you like my video just so like and please comment if you have any tricks that you want to learn do comment uh, i'll try to help you out guys and uh, yep yeah, subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video and see you next time which is going to be very interesting because i'm going to teach more tricks in matrix visuals which is uh, some I, i'll show you now but why not
why not? So I'm going to show you how to rotate your matrix. So if you get, if you see over here, there is a call, there is row and there is uh, values, and I just rotated it, and now values are in the rows and all the rows are in the columns and another which is going to be very very complex I guess and uh, yeah I think this is one of the complex thing I've done is you might have seen something like this matrix that the users do in the Excel sheet they have like a KPIs they have like a target week and they have like a values and they do all the calculations over here I'm going to explore that I'm going to create exact replica of this in matrix and yeah like it's, it's gonna be very cool videos coming up so please do subscribe to my channel and yeah thank you for watching see you next time